Mrs. Roosevelt was visiting the VA hospital. In the process of leaving the hospital, she saw this field with some airplanes flying with uh, two people in it, both being uh, colored. She stopped to find out what was going on. And it, what was happening was what they call at that time the CPT program, Civilian Pilot Training Program, which had nothing to do with the war. There were four Negro colleges, this being one, that had a program of developing pilots, but it had nothing whatsoever to do with the war. And that's when she took the ride in this airplane that's behind me, which is a Piper Cub. The instructors here in that CPT program were all Negro instructors. Actually, Negro pilots uh, actually started in the, in the 20s. But here it is now, uh, probably 1940, early 41. The Secret Service had advised Mr. Anderson, Charles Alfred Anderson, lovingly called chief, if she asks you to take her for a flight, don't you do it. So the way he would tell her to us, he said when she said, I'd like to go for a ride, he looked at the Secret Service, then looked at her and said, well, she's the boss. So she climbs in. Chief took off and left the pattern. And as he said, when he left the pattern, the Secret Service went to the phone and called her husband, the president, Franklin D. Roosevelt, hey, your wife is up flying with these black guys down here. Well, we weren't called black then. But, and they left the pattern. But Chief, and I have this on videotape, where she enjoyed the flight, wanted to know if the airplane could go to Montgomery. He said, sure. And he said, we can, I can take you anywhere you want. 